Okay, if you've been using Wonderlist for your test, you'll have probably heard that it's shutting down. You need to install Microsoft To Do List from the store so you can import all your Wonderlist tasks to Microsoft To Do. All right, to simplify the demo, I've cleaned out all my old tasks in Wonderlist and I created a couple of one, ones called Home Tasks and one's called Shared Tasks. So I'm going to move these two task lists and each having two tasks in them uh, over to To Do List. Uh, the thing of it is in Wonderlist, there's nothing you need to do. You simply open up the to-do list, and you'll see here your list if you have some existing ones or not. But if you're brand new, you won't have any. And all you have to do is uh, open up these settings. There's no hamburger menu in the to-do list, so it's not obvious. But you just click on your name, a drop-down will open, and you'll see the uh, link to settings. Now, once you click on that, you'll go to the settings page. And there's only, for importing purposes, there's only one link, and that's import. Just make sure that you're looking at the Microsoft To Do account that you want to import your stuff to. You can click on the Manage Account button or sign out and re-sign in with the other one. But once you click on it, it'll ask you for permission. Uh, and you just say Allow. And uh, it'll give you a little summary. It'll pop up a summary here. And again, the summary will give you an option to uh, change your account as well. But it's going to give you this summary, this list of how much it's going to import. And if we scroll down the page a little bit, you'll see the full summary. It'll have a list, the tasks, some files if you have them, and even if you want to uh, import your completed stuff. So once you're confident all that is correct and that's what you want to do, all you have to do is click on the Import button at the bottom. And once you do that, it's going to say, oh, importing, but you can still use it while you're importing. So you say continue, and if you notice up here, it says importing. Now, because this was a small list, it, it finished almost immediately. Yours may take some time, depending upon what you have. And here's the summary of what was imported, just what you asked for. So now that it's done, let's close that window, and let's go compare uh, what's in Microsoft To Do with what was in the Wonder List. So if we do that, and we look here, you'll see you uh, have some new tasks, or new list and new tasks. And you'll see that now here those lists are there. Uh, by the way, at the bottom, you'll see a uh, summary here. You click on it, and it yet again tells you exactly what happened. So you can uh, double check that one last time. Now, first, if I click at the top, you'll see under at My Day, you'll see that's been imported. And it gives you a list of the things that have been imported, uh, some earlier ones or whatever. But anyways, recently added, you'll see that the Home Task uh, 2 and Home Task 1, uh, all the different ones have been imported correctly. So let's go to the actual list on the left here. So there's daily stuff, but here's the home tasks. Okay, and you see that the same two that are over here in the Wonder List are now over here in Microsoft To Do. Same with shared tasks. Uh, we go over here to shared tasks. The same ones have been imported to the proper newly created list in Microsoft To Do. Now, once these lists are over there, and you're going to keep those particular lists, you're going to have to reshare them because that's one thing that doesn't come with. So you're going to have to go over here and say share list. And then you create an invitation link. And you do that by clicking on that, typing in the person's email address, and sending them the link. You'll want to go back to your wonder list and see uh, the shared uh, option here. And you'll look on the list mode. And you'll see what the names of the people that you have previously shared your wonder list with. So they'll get an invitation, but it'll include uh, a link to go ahead and download Microsoft To Do. And once they install that, then they go ahead and uh, click on it. Uh, they can accept the invitation and it will be added to uh, their tasks. By the way, if you want to reorganize your tasks in the to-do list, you can just drag and drop something into an existing list. If you want to like merge something together, you can do, uh, do two, one or two or more and just drop them in place. And by the way, for your phone, here I am logged into my Android, and you'll see that the list has transferred over. It reads the same task list because it's out there on the cloud. There's the uh, home task list and the uh, shared task looks right there on my phone. And if you drill into the details of uh, either one of those, you'll see the uh, list of those items that were imported. And because the list is in the cloud, you can update them from your phone or your desktop, and everybody will get their notifications. So there you have it, how to uh, quickly export or actually import your wonder list into your Microsoft To Do. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.